What's up everyone and welcome back to another haul. Wait, am I on the right channel? No, uh, I am not on the new collector channel. Uh, as featured on the screen right now. Um, well, yeah. This is obviously taking an idea from new collector. So very thankful to him for this idea. And in fact, what his channel actually come from is weekly haul. So if you haven't already, please do go check him out. And this is my weekly haul. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel. It really does help a lot. And if you haven't already, please do go ahead over to New Collector. He always, well, he's always in my comments and he's always supporting and helping me out. Um, he's also on Instagram as well. Uh, that's at New Collector. So if you haven't already, please do go and give him a follow on that too. So without further ado, let's get on with it. All of recent matchbox room parts have started to head into the Entertainer and England. And they are three pounds a piece. They are absolutely beautiful models. And um, putting this ring over right here. I absolutely love this thing. It's an amazing piece and it's exactly what I think of when I think of Range Rovers. Beautiful details at the front, beautiful details at the back. Let's move on. Just three pounds. Uh, post pictures right on the screen of the haul. Thank you very much to my sister Rebecca or Rebecca Coverdale. That was very thankful to her. It's a beautiful Porsche Turbo from the 80s. Exactly how they used to make them. Beautiful details in front and back, as per usual, as I'd expect from a premium matchbox make. And by far one of my favourites in this set is this Xterra. Look at that boot open, that'd be beautiful. There we are, a bunch of stuff in the back, and that's what I love about matchbox is the constant variety in what they put in those boots. Uh, for instance, there's a Mercedes that launched in the of 2021, which had a bunch of stuff in the boot. And my certainly favourite from this set that I've got is this Ranger Raptor or Ranger. And his engine bay is nicely detailed in there. And the livery is just absolutely beautiful. Perfect livery on there. It's a grey matte finish. And it's party pieces by far. A lift down tailgate. That looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. The main premise of the video this is Free It Schmatterday or Fratterday. This is the free Friday opening, except this prelude is already open and ready for me to keep as a popped car in memory of Rio Asada. And this was his parents' slash car, and this sort of how I'd have mine. Beautiful yellow interior, looking like a banana. It's red bonnet, or red interior, black bonnet. Nice details on it. So that's going to be my pocket car from now on. Beautiful car nonetheless, and well, the car that I think everyone should love because it generally is a really good car. So, um, let's get into the free at I guess. Get this prelude back in, and also, this is the way I think should everyone should open their hot wheels. Right, so be careful because this does involve using knives, and sand knives can be quite dangerous, so please do wash your fingers. But if you want to open your hot wheels, then it's quite an easy way to do it. Cut along there, along there, and along there, and then you can put it up and put it back in as long as you want. Easy as that. And as long as you're careful, you will not damage the casting, and you will have a beautiful land land round work with you at your disposal. So I love that casting. That casting is beautiful, and I actually really like the muddy girls with the muddy livery. I think it looks very nice. And under the cool combi. I know Alex Graf will approve of. Once again, in there and around. And it can be quite fiddly. Watch your fingers. I am really not being very careful. But I should be. There we are. Bingo. There we are. Put the knife away when you're finished. For the blade, should I say? God, this is it forever. Of course, it's me who's doing this wrong. Jeez. Perfect. We have an unscripted one today, but I just wanted to kind of get a video up for people to enjoy and show a few cool customs off. So there's my Hello Kissy Cool Cammy. 
It's a bit of a shame about North Front Tampos, but I'm okay about that. Nice engine detail at the back there. Must have center exit, center exit exhaust. How good the livery looks quite nice. And this is my first one of the cool combi livery, casting, whatever. I do hope you've enjoyed that. And please do enjoy the cinematics at the end. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to New Collector. Uh, he's a great guy. And, well, enjoy.